I had a little break in the weather, so I wanted to take a moment and give you guys a winter update on the EG4 Mini Split. This is the 24,000 BTU model that I picked up from Signature Solar. I've had it for several months now, and it's end of January, so I've had a couple good months of winter to test things out. Last week we were in the single digits, so we got to see how it performed um, during that time. The last Wednesday was a high of 8 degrees, so it was pretty cold. And I can tell you this machine has kept the shop running at the temperature I set it at. I've been very impressed. I'm going to go ahead and move inside where we won't have the noise of the unit to talk over, and I'll tell you a little more about it. The interior unit has really performed well. It has the oscillating louvers that can be turned on and off that operate both horizontally and vertically. And that really does a nice job in spreading that air out and, and changing the temperature in the shop fairly quickly. It's nice when you have a situation where you've been running it at 60 to, to save on, on consumption and you're going to be spending some time out here so you want it to be a little more comfortable. You can bump it up in temperature and then turn those louvers on and they'll spread that air out quickly and, and bring the temperature up to that comfortable 72 pretty quickly. The space that I am heating and cooling, just for reference, is 24 by 36, and this mini split has done an awesome job in temperature controlling that space. Here we are inside the app. I want to show you what I have the temperature set at and what we're pulling from solar and, and grid power. You can see we're set at 72 degrees, and it's a nice toasty 75 in here. It's about 38 degrees outside right now. The sun's behind the clouds, so we're only drawing about 140 watts from the panels. I have six 410 watt panels up on the roof. Um, I'm really glad I didn't go with any smaller of a ray size. I actually was worried that I overcompensated with the solar panels, but uh, we definitely could use more in the wintertime up there. Um, but uh, you can see we're pulling a little over 500 watts, 559 watts from the grid. This has really done a great job of keeping my shop temperature controlled. This shop is also my well house, and so it has to be kept at a above freezing temperature. And this has done a really good job of keeping that going that way. In the summertime, I ran it 100% off solar, and it kept it cool all summer long. It was really nice that way. I'll take you into the history here. You can look at what we've been doing today. The green is the solar consumption, and the orange is the grid consumption. Here you can look at our month. And you can see we've had a lot of bad weather days. Um, we used a lot of grid power this last month um, versus the, the solar power. But I can tell you that even with that consumption, it has cut my bill in half from what it was last winter running off of our old electric furnace. So it's really done a great job and done what I've asked it to do. The only hiccup I've had since installing this unit is one time in the fall we had a winter storm come through that was rain mixed with snow. I had it in auto mode and it uh, got ice build up around the whole back of the unit and in by the fan. I went ahead and shut it down to prevent any damage and allowed that ice to melt. I think what was happening is it was bouncing between heat and cool mode and caused that ice to build up. Since I've switched it to heat mode I haven't had that same problem occur. But that's something to be aware of, to keep an eye out for that. You don't, don't want to have damage caused by ice building up on the unit. Overall, it has been a great product. It has accomplished the goals that I had for this shop, which were to lower my electric bills and to provide a heated and cooled space for me to work and play, and it's done those things. I'd recommend it to anybody. For any questions, please leave them down in the comments. For updates on this and for other off-grid and do-it-yourself solar projects, please subscribe and thanks for watching.